Hey artists, today we're working on our Radial Symmetry Origami Sculptures. We're going to review those three different types of folds we learned, and then we will start assembling our sculptures. The first fold we learned was the hat fold, where you fold your paper in half, fold it in half again, and then open that up once and use that middle line as a guide to pull the sides down, kind of like a paper airplane. Second was the kite fold. Have the corners of your square meet, open it up and use that middle crease as your guide to pull the side corner down and into the middle and then do the same to the other side. Third is our samurai fold. Have the corners meet to make a triangle and then open it up and do the same thing the other direction. Have the corners meet again. You're left with an X in the middle of your paper and you'll fold it in half. Have the fold closed side be at the top and open side be at the bottom. Now I'm going to hold one side closed and the other corner I'm going to poke inside out. Let's try that again in slow motion. So poke at the top corner till it's pushed into your paper. Same thing to the other side. Then pull the front wings down and into the middle. Let's move on to layering and gluing down our folds. Maybe you want to put in our hat folds in the middle or you want to put your kite folds and kite folds take up one triangle so we'll need eight to fill in each of the eight triangles on here you could do it in a pattern of colors maybe you want to do a combination of them so i might put a hat fold two kite folds into kite folds, hat folds, but maybe you want to turn it to fit into each triangle. So you can play around with the different directions or types of folds you want to put in. When you're happy with the center of how you want to glue them down, you're going to put glue on the back of your pieces and flip them over and into your triangles. So I'm going to glue those down. And then you're ready to decide how you want to layer them. Maybe you want to put in a kite fold at each hat fold. And the more you make, you, the more you can start layering them. So play around with it and when you're happy with it, then you can start gluing. You can get creative with how you place your origami pieces. Sometimes they might be on the folded lines or within the triangles on your black paper. Everyone's is going to look so unique and special to them. I can't wait to see what you create. 